Alright. So the last video did not record. I don't know what the heck. What the, what the who, what the heck, what the, I don't know what the who. All them kind of noises and shit. I don't know what happened. I tried to record. Apparently, I never recorded. I hit the fucking button right when I was turning it off. I've met some younger people tonight that are inspirational and that are inspired, that write music, that have written music, that have sang, that want to sing, and that want to go places in life, tired of the struggles, need a way out now. Ten fucking reasons, at least. Um, I stopped by a bar tonight and uh, ran into some people. Without fucking partying, without carrying on, just stopped by to fucking talk to people. And just to see who's at the local bars, what they're doing, what their goals are, what their ambitions are, and where they're at. So it's four simple things. And I met a lot of people that are not happy where they are. Some people want to do things to change it. Some people are cool where they're at. Some people don't know how to change it. So obviously we need to give advice to all these groups of people. You know, try to help them through their times, their trials. We've probably been there. We might have known somebody that has. Maybe we haven't been there, but we might be there at some point. So it's always good to pay it forward for one. And it's always good to listen to people's advice, but still make your own judgments. Take that with a grain of salt. You know, it could get hairy. Um, I met some people tonight, not much younger than me, but they really respect uh, country music, rock music, rap music, and the hip hop community. And they grew up listening to it, all of it. And I'm talking about white folk, I'm talking about black folk, I'm talking about Hispanic folk, I'm talking about, I'm talking about humans, okay, I'm talking about people in general. Now, there's been a few people I've met tonight that have tried to write stuff in the past in high school, maybe sang for a band, maybe almost got somewhere, but then kind of gave it up, whatever it is, man. I, I was in a band, I was in a cover band, wanted to write originals, um, chose family life, chose wife, chose kids, would never, ever trade them for anything in the world. So if I ever do anything with music, I'm not trading them for nothing. I'll find a way to incorporate it, I'll find a way to balance, but I will not leave my family high and dry. Now that that's out the way. I've met some people that are very inspired and motivated to try to do some work. Now, only time will tell to what level, but the heart and what I seen in these people made a difference in myself and it gave me hope. And these people also want me to keep pushing on, like some of the other people I've met, touched, pushed, encouraged, inspired. Now, I'm just, I'm just a regular guy. I got a regular life. I've had regular ups and downs. I've had good days. I've had bad days. I've had days that are mediocre. But on them low days, it's how high are you willing to reach? How much further are you willing to dig and crawl on your hands and knees to stand back up? And then once you stand back up, are you willing to limp until that you can walk again? Are you willing to walk until you can run? Are you willing to run until you can jump those hurdles and climb that mountain? And go beyond where you've been before. And it's all up to you. So, our destination and our destiny is up to us. 
we're all put in different places on this earth. And I've seen different people in different places have success stories. I've seen people that were put in good places have failure. It's all in what you make it. This life is all in what you make it. If you haven't met Ryan Upchurch yet, I suggest you go look him up. Inspirational, to say the least. Um, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. Um, I've been inspired tonight by a couple people that I met that want me to keep playing music. Some people big, some people small, some people right in the middle. But, yeah, fuck your couch. My whole point to that is it doesn't matter how big the person, how small the person. That tells you that you're good. It can be encouraging. It can be uplifting. It can be life-changing. But don't let somebody define who you are or how good you are, whether or not you're the best or not. Don't let somebody's opinion or one life experience or one baseball game or one picture that you drew or one song you attempted to write, one car you built but you blew up, whatever it is, don't give up. Not that easy. You ain't going to make it nowhere if you fucking throw the towel in like that. You need to go ahead and dig deep. Learn from your mistakes. A wise person will learn from their mistakes. They will not dwell. They will not go backwards. But they will take that and they'll go ahead and take two, three steps forward. They're not going to be like, oh shit, I can't do that. Why the hell I fall on my face? I'm just a failure. We might have all been there at some point. I'm not making fun of you at all. But don't think like that for one minute. Not one second. Not one day. Not, not a skosh. <laughs> and I ain't used that word in years. Not even for a millisecond. Always know that you can regroup. You can, you can, you can call on the man. You can uh, dig deep. You can look in the mirror. You can ask yourself, what can I do to make my life better? What can I do to improve myself? Don't look at that guy. Don't look at that guy. Don't look at him. Don't look at Upchurch. Don't look at anybody successful. Don't look at the president. Don't ask, how did they get there? You can ask that, but ask, how am I going to get there? Their path is different than yours. No path is the same. I can't say no paths have been similar, but I will say you need to find your own path in life. Find your destiny and head for it full steam. Take the rearview mirror, rip it off, throw it out the window. Take the windows, roll them down, throw them off. Lean the seat back. Cut a tune on and ride. And don't stop till you get where you're going. I don't care if the radio cuts out. I don't care if the CD cracks. I don't care if it's played a thousand times and you can't play it no fucking more. Hum to yourself that fucking tune. Don't forget the cadence that kept you beating in life. Don't forget that rhythm. Don't forget what fucking kept you moving on. Don't forget that music that's in the background of your mind. Don't forget what's in your heart. Don't forget what's in your soul. Now, I don't know if you're all like me, but I got a cadence. I got a rhythm. I've got something inside of me that will never die. And it's tied into music. And if you follow the cadence of your own drum, you'll find your own way. You may be influenced by other people in other situations, but you will do you to the fullest and won't care what nobody else has said. Just do it. And don't look back. And wait till you get there. And push a little further. And then, and then you can stand back and be like, I did what? I went where? I met who? Shit. If you don't believe in yourself, I'm telling you right now, believe in yourself. You can do it. You can do it. Upchurch did it. Kelso did it. Many people done it. I'm an underdog. I'm going to do it. I ain't there yet. Follow me.